Now that we have Docker installed, I think the Docker docs have a great getting started guide on how you can actually containerize an application. And so what we're gonna do is actually just go through this really quickly and it can give us a great idea of how to containerize an application through a Docker file, how we build the image, getting the image to run inside of a container, and then a couple other things like networking and things like that. So let's go ahead and go through the getting started guide and then we'll move on into the SQL module right after. So if you were still confused on what a container is or what an image is, it gives you a good rundown here at the beginning of part one, but let's go into part two on how we can containerize an application. First things first is they actually have a getting started app, which is just a to-do app for you to containerize. But what we're gonna do first is simply just clone this and, and use it for the rest of this guide. I'm gonna open up my terminal here and make a directory and I'm gonna call this Docker tutorial. And I'm going to CD into Docker tutorial. And after that, what we're going to do is paste in the command that was in there, which simply just clones the repo. And obviously, if it wasn't clear enough, make sure you have Git installed and make sure you have a text editor installed. I'm using VS Code, and I think that should be it. Obviously, Docker installed. Now that it's cloned, let's go ahead and CD into the getting started guide. And what we can see here is if we open up VS Code, there's a couple things here. So we have a spec file. We only really need to look at the source file, but this is just a simple to do app. So let's go ahead and go back to the getting started guide. And it has the instructions for you on Mac and Windows. So depending on your operating system, make sure you follow the right ones. But we've already seeded into it. What we're going to do is inside of the root directory of the getting started app, we're going to create a Docker file. And as mentioned before, this is going to be the instructions on how we build the image that containerizes the application that the Docker file is sitting in. So now that I've created the Docker file, if type in LS, you can see that the Docker file is there. So what we're going to do is they've provided us the instructions or the contents that we're going to use for this Docker file. Now you can see that we have a couple things here that we haven't seen before, but essentially what from is, is we're going to use the node 18 package that we're pulling from the Docker hub to run our environment in or our runtime. The working directory is going to be in the slash app or the root directory of the application. This simply copies everything. And then we're going to run this command, which is yarn install production. Other commands that are going to be is going to be node and we're going to look at in the source index.js file and we're also exposing port 3000. So you can see that these instructions are pretty straightforward, read like English. The one thing to take in mind is that this does have to be in order. This cannot be misplaced. So keep that in mind when you're writing your own Docker files. But what we're going to do is we're simply just going to copy this, switch back over to our VS code, head into Docker file, and then just paste this in and save. Now that that's save they give us a command so we're going to run docker build hyphen t which simply just tags our image and then we're going to name it getting started so that will be the name of our image and then the dot we need at the end to tell docker where to look for everything to containerize which will simply just be in the current directory so i'm going to go ahead and copy this command as well paste this in also make sure that you have the docker daemon running if you install docker desktop just simply open the application let everything launch and then you should be good so i'm going to go ahead and hit enter this is going to do a couple things Awesome. So now if we go back into Docker desktop and we go into images, you can see at the very top getting started is created. We have an image. The tag is going to be the latest tag. Hasn't been used yet. Tells us our size, but now we have an image with everything as you can see from the Docker file. So you can see the commands that we ran. We have node version 18, which we did with the from command. And then we're also exposing port 3000. So you can see that the Docker files blueprint is in play here.